are all travelers and uh, uh, travel from country to country, continent to continent. Uh, also, sometimes it's very difficult for some people. So, what what are your what are your tips that you can give to people? So, when you travel, the most uh, important elements which tend to get imbalanced is air and space the vata imbalance uh, and this can give rise to headaches uh, dryness or, uh, and uh, dehydration and uh, things like um, disorientation because the space and uh, air is uh, imbalanced most of these are uh, vata imbalance symptoms so to tackle vata the best thing is to uh, keep hydrating yourself keep, drink drink plenty of fluids and also another uh, important point is to practice alternate nostril breathing mm. so every two hours you can practice this for 10 minutes so this will keep you grounded and oriented and uh, the third one is to to meditate it's very good to uh, see when you are uh, on the air and if if you are not able to concentrate the best will be to listen to some guided meditation uh, and um, also uh, it will be recommended to do or hear some chantings not uh, chanting by yourself but to less listen to some soothing music and chantings and to uh, make you feel more grounded so this is uh, very uh, important and uh, just be before the travel if you can uh, put a little bit of oil on the head and just do a very gentle massage um, you will feel that you feel uh, you are more grounded yeah. same uh, same way if you are um, a person who tend to get uh, swelling in the in the feet uh, you can uh, rub a little bit of sesame oil on the both the feet while you travel and then uh, just uh, stretch yourself and do some desktop exercises for the feet and the joints like you know simple practices like this and uh, some sukshma yoga we say sukshma is a minute yoga for for the joints and for the eyes rolling the eyes and looking uh, for the neck and for the feet and you know just stretching will definitely help mm. and uh, um, chewing fennel seeds cumin seeds uh, or ginger dry ginger uh, candy ginger candy sort of things will also help to uh, make you feel uh, less bloated and heavy and it is also recommended to stay away from raw vegetables fruits are fine but raw vegetables and uh, raw salads it's, it's again it's hard to digest because raw food is hard to digest um, and uh, your body will need to work more harder compared to the um, cooked vegetables so it is best to have steamed and cooked vegetables during the flight uh, rather than going for meat and uh, uh, heavy protein <coughs> and also um, um, raw vegetables and salads. And, and I would also add to this that uh, when you um, uh, when you travel, they feed you a lot, right? So if we like for me going back to Canada, for example, it's a very long, long flight. So it seems like there's always food coming. Uh, I think what's important is not to eat everything they're giving you, yeah. you know, and to be reasonable. And uh, and but what I, I I I take from what you're saying is that. Uh, it's very important to, to be relaxed mm. and to have our body relax as much as possible and then, then the, the jet lag is, is easier yeah. to take. And, and, uh, so when you travel to Bali for a Panchakarma from wherever you're coming from or going to after, uh, it's important to, um, stay uh, to stay hydrated and to stay relaxed and calm and give yourself some massage and, and exercise in the plane and also um, for myself, it's very important to wear those socks, those uh, those very tight socks. They really help a lot. Really help a lot. Thank you, Dr. Aparna.